Welcome to the channel The Practical Study. Guys, in our previous video, we have talked about that what is the cogeneration system. Today, in this video, we will talk about that how we can calculate efficiency of cogeneration system. For the guys who uh, have not watched my previous video, let's talk about a cogeneration system. Cogeneration system is a system in which a gas generator boiler and chiller works together actually when the gas generator runs then by its exhaust we run waste heat recovery boiler and from its jacket water we run hot water absorption chiller now the efficiency of this complete system is called the cogeneration system efficiency Cogeneration system efficiency is basically equal to dielectrical efficiency which we get from the gas generator plus steam efficiency which we get from waste recovery boiler plus hot water efficiency which we get from hot water absorption chiller. A very important point which is need to be noted that for all systems gas generator, waste heat recovery boiler, hot water absorption chiller, the input is same and which is natural gas and which we feed into gas generator. So steam and chilled water is basically the byproduct of gas generators. So when we uh, calculate efficiency, as you already know that efficiency is basically the output divided by input of a system so for electrical efficiency we have output electricity and input is gas for steam uh, for waste recovery boiler efficiency we have output steam whether we have input is natural gas and in uh, hot water absorption chiller we have output chilled water and same we have input the gas because the running source is only natural gas so the total efficiency of cogeneration system we can only get by sum of electrical efficiency steam efficiency and hot water efficiency now consider a system uh, which i am personally running is, is a Jen Barker gas engine GGS 320 1 megawatt and I am running a boiler of 800 kg waste heat recovery boiler on GGS 320 exhaust and also I am running 100 ton hot water absorption chiller. Let's calculate the efficiency of my system and you can calculate efficiency of your system by changing the required parameters. So first talk about electrical efficiency. If I talk about Jen Barker engine JGS320 of capacity 1 megawatt, when JGS320 runs on 80% efficiency, then its fuel consumption per hour is 248 meter cube. You can also see it from uh, its catalog. Now, first converting this fuel consumption in standard cubic feet of gas and we know that one cubic meter is 35.31 standard cubic feet. So multiply this conversion factor with 248, we get fuel consumption in standard cubic feet per hour, 8757 standard cubic feet. Now I want to calculate fuel consumed in kilowatt. Why I am going to calculate fuel consumed in kilowatt because the output of my gas generator is in kilowatt. So the input of generator I need to, I have to calculate in kilowatt. So if you want to calculate your gas input in kilowatt, then its formula is standard cubic feet multiplied by low heating value divided by 3412. Now, what is low heating value? And what is 3412? Please guys, listen to me carefully. When a natural gas is spun, 
then there are two things one is low heating value or net calorific value and one is high heating value or gas calorific value when a gas burns then some impurities some dust particles or some unwanted particles in the gas also burns which never give us required reduce but these are the waste particles so uh, burning the wanted particles uh, or want, wanted quantity of gas plus the unwanted particles of gas the total btu we get is equal to high heating value now minusing the wasted quantity of uh, heat uh, or uh, the heat of vaporization from high heating value we get low heating value or net calorific value so we were going to calculate fuel consumed in kilowatt which is equal to standard cubic feet multiplied by low heating value now we have to calculate low heating value low heating value is equal to high heating value divided by 1.11 so high heating value or gcb you can easily uh, find it, find the gcb from your gas bill which government uh, uh, tells us that the gas the government which which the government is providing us the gas is what is its gcb so you can easily find it on your gas bill so dividing gcb by 1.11 uh, i get the low heating value 820 so low heating value 820 so what is mean by low heating value 820 low heating value means that if one standard cubic feet of gas will burn then i will get 820 btu so guys so total amount of btu how much btu i get i multiply total fuel consumption per hour with 820 so the total btus equal to this uh, multiply a uh, product of these two things low heating value and standard cubic feet now dividing this by 3412 we get the uh, uh, heating value in kilowatt this is 3412 is basically converting btus into kilowatt so if our gas generator uh, jgs 320 is working on 80 percent efficiency then the maximum units which i am getting i am getting in a day is 19065 kilowatt now dividing it by 24 so 794 kilowatts i am getting in one hour so electrical efficiency i am as i already told you is equal to output divided by input so what is my output 794 kilowatt and what is input in terms of kilowatt is 2105 kilowatt which is the fuel we have calculated in kilowatt so putting the values and multiply it by 100 we get 0.3772 or 37 percent efficiency so in cogeneration system the gas generator has only efficiency of 37 percent which is very low but due to its byproduct in term of steam and in term of hot water we get overall system efficiency very well now calculating the efficiency of waste heat recovery boiler or steam efficiency guys there is one thing which is need to remind that in case of waste heat recovery boiler the input will be the same which is gas input in terms of kilowatt because there is nothing need in wasted recovery boiler it runs only by the waste gas of engine so let's if you uh, find out the catalog of jgs 320 engine then you will find that available heat from engine exhaust is equal to 547 kilowatt since also there are some losses uh, uh, because we have to uh, supply this um, exhaust gas into the waste heat recovery boiler so there must be 10% losses so we will get 492 kilowatt 
since engine is running on 80% of the capacity so available heat will be uh, that will be put into boiler is 393 kilowatt so available heat for boiler q is equal to 393 kilowatt or kilojoule per second if i i see that boiler feed water which in my case i am providing is has the temperature of 75 degrees centigrade in your case they, that might be changed so you can put your own value enthalpy of feed water at 75 degrees centigrade is equal to 317 kilojoule per kg that means if i want to uh, uh, if i have 1 kg of water at 75 degrees centigrade then it has 317 kilojoule of heat and enthalpy of steam at 10 bar you can easily calculate it from steam chart is 2781 kilojoule per kg and the net enthalpy which we have uh, find out from the steam chart uh, or we, you can see that heat required to convert water into steam is 2464 kilojoule per kg that means <coughs> if i want to convert the water of 317 uh, kilojoule uh, of water of 75 degrees centigrade if I want to convert its 1 kg into steam of 10 bar then I must have to supply 2464 kilojoule of energy so how much steam we will generate is equal to available heat what is available heat is 393 kilowatt which is present in the exhaust of gas engine and divided it by the net enthalpy which I need to convert in the water into steam. So I get 0.159 kilogram per second converting it into hours. So I get 574 kilogram per hour. So I am getting 574 kilogram kgs of steam in an hour. No, so this is our output converting this output into steam it's very simple specific enthalpy of steam at 10 bar total heat is equal to you can uh, get it from the steam chart 2776 kilojoule per kg now the total energy of steam in kilowatt how we can convert this into kilowatt is equal to mass of the steam i mean amount of the steam multiply in its enthalpy divided by 3600 which is converting hour into seconds so 574 which is the quantity of steam multiply its specific enthalpy to 776 divided by 3600 which is converting hours into uh, second so we get 442 kilojoule per second or 442 kilowatt so this is our output of steam from waste heat recovery boiler and guys remember what i said that the input for this case will also be the same which we have already calculated in case of generator so input is gas consumed in generator is 2105 kilowatt so efficiency by dividing output by input we get 21 percent remember in generator we have calculated efficiency 37 percent in waste recovery boiler we can we have calculated efficiency 21 percent so now the second byproduct which is hot water we have to calculate its efficiency in case of jgs 320 engine hot water flow rate is 30.5 meter cube per hour now this hot water of 30.5 meter cube per hour we have to calculate that how much heat is available in this flow rate at a certain temperature difference so converting this meter cube per hour into liters per hour or kg per hour as density of water is approximately about equal to 1 so 30.5 multiplied by 1000 so 30,500 liters per hour or kg per hour delta T 17 degrees centigrade what is delta T delta T is the jacket water in and jacket water out temperature difference so what is the temperature difference when we uh, get the jacket water input temperature the uh, water which is coming out from the jacket water has temperature of 88 or 90 uh, then after cooling it goes back to the generator body 
then 17 degree centigrade will be dropped. So this 17 degree centigrade will be dropped by the heat exchanger of chiller. So this 17 degree centigrade delta we will use in chiller. And as we know that specific heat of water is 4.2 kilojoule per kg degree centigrade. So the total heat which is available in hot water will be equal to very easy formula Q is equal to MC delta T. M is the amount of hot water 30 uh, 500 multiplied by C specific heat of water delta D is the temperature difference of jacket water out and in. So total heat available in hot water is 213 per 700 kilojoule per hour. Converting it into second we have 604.9 kilojoule per second or kilowatt six so we have output in case of hot water is 604.9 kilowatt since engine is running on 80 percent load so we will get heat according to 80 percent so if we will get 483 kilowatt the heat is available since this heat is available on the primary side of jacket water when we have to extract this heat we have to install a heat exchanger so by installing heat exchanger on the secondary side of heat exchanger we will uh, get less amount of heat so if on the primary side of heat exchanger there is 483 kilowatt then on secondary side there must be 20 percent losses so we will get 386 kilowatt so this is the heat which is available in output in case of hot water and input will be the same as in previous both cases the input will be the kilowatts of gas which we have provided into the gas engine. So dividing output by input we get efficiency 18%. Now summing up all efficiencies electrical efficiency, steam efficiency, hot water efficiency so electrical efficiency we have calculated 37%, steam efficiency we have calculated 21% and hot water efficiency we have calculated 18%. So the total efficiency of cogeneration system is 76%. Guys uh, in this video I have used the parameters which um, I am uh, running my engine so in your case you can put your own parameters or what parameters you are running in uh, gas generator and so you can calculate your cogeneration system efficiency uh, very easily i hope guys uh, you like this video and if you like this video then please share your comments and subscribe my channel thank you very much